Hey YouTuber, so you want to become a filmmaker but you don't really know how to make one. Well don't worry because this video is just for you as I take you by the step by step guides about how to become a big filmmaker. So first, before you actually have a film, you need a writer, or writers, to actually create the story that you want. Now you might think that you need some writers with experience, or actually can make a good story, or basically can actually make you a story that you want. But if you don't have any women, then what's the point in having writers at all? The creators of Rick and Morty feel that it's best to actually look for experience, but they have no female writers, so doesn't that really say something about them being misogynistic? And granted, they say they might actually get some female writers, but are they still going to go for their old trade of looking for experience over women? So just remember, diversity is more important than experience. So just remember, when you're actually looking for some writers, then look for more diversity than for how good they are. And if you're only going to have one writer, uh, and if you're only going to have one writer, then make it a woman. Next, you might need a director if you're not actually going to direct this film. Now again, you could be looking for experience or even their film history to see what else they've worked on, but then you could end up creating sexism in your workplace. Did you know that Emma Watson experienced sexism in her workplace when she was directed by 17 men and only two women? Now you could say that in the director of gender ratio, males actually dominate females quite a bit, but still, 17 men? That's 17 dicks! Do you really want to have sexism in your workplace? Do you? That's why you need a female director, no matter her experience at all. Just remember, diversity is more important than experience. Now what about characters? Who's going to be your main character? It's going to be a female, of course, because we haven't had enough female male protagonists. Right? Just remember that your female needs to be strong. Treat her as you make a male, but no, no, don't, don't do that because that's just misogyny. But if you treat a female like a male, uh, as long as you make her strong and independent, then of course people are going to like her. And don't show that she has any weaknesses though, because that's a bad thing to show that women are weak. So just remember that women are goddesses of the universe. I have nothing else to say about that. Finally, you need to know what your audience is going to be. Now, of course, you could be saying that you want to make a film for the people like you, and of course, a film that you're going to like. But what if you turn out to be a misogynistic pig? Well, unless you're a female, in which case you're fine anyway. So it's important to note that your audience should be a feminist audience. They're the ones that are going to guide you in the right direction to make a very, very good impression on everyone. Just as long as you don't put anything triggering or offensive like these things, and you'll be on your way to the next big thing like Joss Whedon. Oh wait, uh, never mind about him. So that's my guide, and you can now go off and make a film. Just realise that if it turns out to suck, then it's your fault, not, not mine or anyone else's. And tune in next time, because maybe I'll show off my cleavage some more. If I had one. Thanks for watching!